Are you guys ready? Because I'm not ready. I'm never ready for this. Uh, anyways, this is probably the final stream of Mother 3. The... Well, I don't have to say the fan translation because it's obvious. Anyways. Uh, there's a reason for that. We're on chapter 8. And we are at the very, like, tiptoe section of everything. So let's just get started. Uh, I did go ahead, like, 12 seconds. <laughs> And check to make sure I was like I stopped at the part I wanted to. Master Lucas and friends, I've been waiting for you. I changed my hat so perhaps you don't recognize me, but I'm just I was the chauffeur that of that difficult to drive and far too long limousine. I'm pleased to see you've made it this far. I will now determine if you're fit to meet with Master Porky or not. Please, uh, kind of follow me if you would. Ooh, okay. Master Porky just loves to play fun games, so I will use the Super Whack-A-Mole game to judge whether or not you're fit to be his wonderful playmate of his. First, allow me to explain the rules. Whoever hits the most mole buttons with their mental A button hammers will win the game. Master Porky absolutely adores the word win. If the words indulge in humor mean anything to you, you'll know what to do. But if you try to throw a match, Master Porky will be very displeased as well. Indeed. You understand the rules now? Yes. Okay. So basically, uh, Master Mini Porky. Oh wow, everyone's fake. I just, I realized like everyone's painted onto the walls. Okay. Oh god. Okay, so the gimmick here is, I, I think it's kind of hilarious, is that you have to beat him by the skin of your, you have to lose by the skin of your teeth. So whatever score he gets, you have to get like less than one, like minus one of that. A grand total of ten. All right. So I have to get nine. Shouldn't be too hard. Whack a mole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and. Nine. Okay, we're done. It's like, <sighs> you have to let him win, unfortunately. Yes, Lucas gets a hammer. Why wasn't this included in Super Smash Bros? It looks very weird when he holds it, because it just stays in like the same position. Do 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 do. Time! Okay. I hope I got nine, I don't know. Master Lucas's record, ta-da! Total no moles hit, nine! Oh my, Master Mini Porky, you've won the intense match by a razor-thin margin of one mole. What a wonderful game. It's really heart-stopping. Now, now then, let's uh, move on to the next fun and exciting game. This is not exactly what you would call, like, a heart-rending ending. I was also looking up the logo for this game. I mean, there's no point in saving. I'll save uh, when I know when to save. I was looking up the logo of this game. It's strange, funny, and heart-rending. I forgot about that. But I wanted to do something classic, you know, something classic. Alright. Oh god. This is one of the, the more difficult ones. I don't remember exactly, like, uh... How, do, how this works. The Purple Bridge Racing Game. And we'll start from the purple bridge at the same time, and the first to reach the other side wins. You understand the rules? Yes? Okay. Alright. Well. Okay, when you're ready to go, go to the starting position. This is the weirdest, like... It's the weirdest part of the game, I think. Even weirder than the Mad Gypsies. Alright, well, look, Jesus. Any, any, any slower, Mr. Porky, I could literally, like, walk faster. What are, you, what are you doing? Come on, hurry up! Dude! Oh my god, I could run faster. I could walk literally faster than you. Well, the, the, the gimmick here is that you have to wait for him to cross and then immediately cross. There you go. Master Porky, you, you win the intense match by nose. What a truly fantastic race. That was a match for the ages. Now then, let's move to the third and final game. You, you you really get insight into this uh into this fat child. Okay. 
Uh, I don't think I have to save. Like, it's very clear that he has, like, childlike tendencies and doesn't want to grow up with the, with the weird games. The last word, the final game. Please come this way if you would, okay? I don't remember. Oh, shit, it's this game. Oh, right, I do remember parts of it. I don't remember, like, I didn't remember the first game. The final game is to whom goes the boom. All right, quick explanation. I don't know, I'm, I'm distracted. Okay, inflate the balloon until it goes boom. The first pop of balloon wins? Okay. All right, I think all I have to do is I'm just gonna press the, the A button. I'll, I'll see how many, uh... Okay. I probably should have saved. Oh, fuck. I don't want to go too fast. Okay, I think that was that was the right thing to do. Clap, clap, clap. You're so young, yet you've mastered so much. I hereby deem you, deem, deem you fit to meet Master Porky. Now then, go pay Master Porky a wonderful visit. Okay. Is there no save? Uh, I want to save. Okay, there is. I don't. I don't think there's a point in DP anymore. Honestly, like, like. We're, we're, so, we're so deep into this place that, like, DP is not that useful. Alright, uh... They're fully revitalized, just to make sure. I'm not gonna bother saving, I already saved. Oh, fuck. I did, I've, I, oh, shit. Lucas, welcome to my room. This is the real 100th floor that you've wanted to come to so badly. Again, I welcome you, my beloved detestable pests. I was the one who invited you here. So you're free to come inside if you wish. It's just that I've given orders to let no one enter my room. To that little attack toy you see right there. Who knows? Maybe this is where we'll say goodbye, even though I invited you here. Alright, let's turn it on. Say hello to the natural killer cyborg. Oh no. I am? Yeah, I know. I'm recording audio. Alright. Okay, I don't remember exactly what to do. But right off the bat, I don't feel comfortable, so I'm gonna defense up everyone. And where is offense down? Okay, hopefully this works. And shield snatcher didn't work. Okay, we'll try defense down. I just I'm gonna put a shield up on everybody. Didn't work. Oh god. Okay, I, I should be fine. Oh god. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, it seems to be, have psychic abilities, so I'm just gonna shove a Psy shield on everyone. And we're also gonna do freeze. And, you know, we have, we have like bombs and ancient bananas. So, like, dude, may as well. Ooh, nice. Okay, now it's frozen. Okay. This is good. This is good news. This is a uh, good gameplay. Uh Okay. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just offense up everyone. And we're going to continue to freeze this thing. Uh bomb I mean we have them we may as well use them oh shit I don't want to waste them all though oh god okay not all of them I'm gonna like I had to hold on to a couple okay now we're gonna attack We'll use PK. I don't want to like burn through all my PK. Oops! Don't use PK Star Storm. Okay, how many do I have? Oh, do I have good shoes still? What the heck? Okay, we'll get rid of the ancient banana. What do I have any bombs? Oh, I didn't get to a shop. That's why I was complaining last time. I forgot. Okay. Speaking of complaining, uh, oh, I use fire. Okay, that didn't work. 
I didn't mean to use fire. Speaking of fires... Oh no. Uh, I accidentally left my oven on the last time I played this game. <laughs> For two hours while I was streaming. That's not a good thing. Uh, it was an accident. I didn't actually mean to do that. Luckily, nothing, like, ended up, like, breaking or getting caught on fire. Okay. Yeah, Lucas is gonna just heal everyone. Because, honestly, it's this is easier this way. Okay. Oh, poison. It's fine. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to waste everything. God damn, I can't, I don't... I don't know how much, like, uh, this dude has. He has a lot of HP. But, like, oh god. Hey! It's fine. A Psy counter. Not like we need Psy counter devices anyways. Goodbye, Sh goodbye, shield. You aren't useful. Okay. Oh wow, that was. Oh the end. Oh god. Oh no. What the heck? Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, it's, no, it's recovery. Okay, why? I should be fine, I think. I think. I healed everyone. I'm running out of PP. It's not, it's not a very good thing. Yeah, I'm gonna, like... Ugh. All right, we'll see what happens next. I'm just not sure. Okay, yeah, thank you. I I did psych- didn't I do psychic counter? I don't know. Don't actually have a. Uh, do I not have? I do have a magic cake. Please, on um, Lucas. Uh, I should have magic pudding. We'll use on Kumatora. Okay. Nice. Uh, I just, I just want to like do a couple more moves. Alright, that's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just, like, kill this thing. <laughs> We're doing PK Lava Mega and PK Star Storm, which I don't have. We're doing PK Freeze. Okay. Sorry, Bony. You'll be fine. Hopefully this, like, murders it. This is a long battle. Nope, it did not kill it. Oh my god. How much health does this thing have? I must have, like, done, like, a lot of damage. Ah, oh, Jesus, the electrical shock. Oh, frick. I don't have, like, the PSI to recover anybody. No, there, I don't have, do I have any? Okay, well, I guess Boney's dead, unfortunately. Okay, what we'll do is we'll... I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess, we'll just eat something. 
No, Scorpio bracelet. Did I not give food to, like, to myself at all? Okay, well, hopefully this pencil rocket does something. Oh. Where's a counter device? Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, goods. No, I don't have it. Oh, I'm running out of stuff. Serenity dumplings. Use it. Uh, shield snatcher. Hopefully it's almost dead. Like, I'm, I'm running out of options here. There we go! Okay, we're good. I had to use, like, a little bit of stuff. Oh, Jesus. I ran out of all my stuff. Level 59! Nice. Okay, we're gonna 100% go heal up, because, man. Like, that boss was just, like, a... <laughs> it was fun! It was a lot easier than dealing with, uh, the masked man, I guess. But it was fun. Hopefully... I did save, right? Yeah, I did. I... I'm just surprised that I managed to get through it, is all. Okay, what is next? Uh, let me see everyone's status. Hopefully, Duster is not poisoned anymore. Everyone should be fine. And now for one of the cooler halls. It's a trip down memory lane. I just choose to walk down this hall. I don't know, it's... It's nostalgic. Even though I've never played Mother 1, I do plan on doing it eventually at some point. It's just like, right now, let's just enjoy the music. Because... No crying. No crying until the end. Ah, oh, Memories. And that's it. I'd soak in this music, but... <laughs> uh, let's go! Oh man. We're really, like, we're really being shoved down, like, memory lane here, aren't we? Oh, it's the Runaway Fives bus. It's, uh, the... It's the Loch Ness Monster Nessie. It's a cab. From, uh, from Earthbound. Oh, hey, look, there's Dad's phone. And a phase distorter. And... Oh, shit, they actually... I remember reading this, they had to actually change those sprites from, like, their Japanese versions to the American versions, which is, like, an iron pencil and an iron eraser. There's the, the helicopter and Dungeon Man. And what's that? That's just a bus. It's very cool. Very neat. What else is there? There's an ATM. Useless now, but pretty, pretty rad, if I do say so myself. And a yellow submarine. Dungeon Man. Hey, Bone, what's up? And a bicycle. Oh, there's the Phase Distorter 3? I think... Oh no, that, that, that was the Skyrunner. This is the Phase Distorter. And that's a Porky's, like, armor thing. Oh! Wow! They got the Sesame Seeds! The black and white Sesame Seed! That's very, very cute. This door is a save point. What is this? An, a pencil eraser. Uh, goods. Let me go see it if I can find it. This machine will eradicate all iron pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's a very weird looking machine if I do say so myself. Anyways, uh, fun fact, this is another point of no return. So basically if you want to wander around New Pork City and everything else in that like this place contains, this is your final save for now, uh, but because I don't really care, and I'm not really gonna play the save file afterwards, I'm just gonna save on the save file again. But let's use the pencil eraser. It's gone. For some weird reason, it vanished. Okay, I'm just gonna heal myself. Because now we're like, we're at the very tippy top. This is a real hundredth floor. It's very mechanical, like it was all pretty and now it's like this giant weird thing. 
A giant pencil is my favorite roadblock in an RPG. Well, it was something else in the like the actual other game. Also, we also for the first time we actually get to see where we physically are. Like we get to we see a volcano, which is a uh, fire mountain, but that's really it. Like you don't really see where anything else is. The beginning of the end. The end of everything. Oh, it's Porky. I mean, it doesn't look too bad for, like, traveling around time. Let's be friends. I'm Porky. I'm just a meek, this meek little boy. Please dote over me. Please talk to me like good boys and girls. You know, just like me. No. That's not very nice now, is it? Actually, I'm not very nice either. Porky, you, uh, you piece of shit. I... I think I hate him the most, but like there's like a subtle sadness to him. I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna waste all my uh, PK love immediately. Oh god, I really don't remember what these are weak against. Okay, well it doesn't matter. Okay, because we're gonna use our bombs. Do I have any more bombs? Only Ness was nicer to him. I don't know, he's kind of an asshat, but like, there's a whole like, deeper thing with him. Okay. I don't know how much like, health these things have. Oh, fuck. They actually have like... They have a shield. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Okay. That's fine. Alright, that's okay. Uh, recovery. We'll just life up everyone. I didn't realize they had shields. I, I thought they did. I, I thought they didn't. I don't know if a shield snatcher would even work. Do I... It's okay. Ness will just... Ness. Lucas will just have to heal everyone. Let me see, Shield Snatcher? No, it only works on one, so it's not, like, worth it. We just have to beat him up. Yeah. We just have to beat the crap out of him, and all I did gotta do is heal. I can't do, like, the... I don't know. Okay, Lucas is definitely gonna heal everyone. Oh god. Oh no! Okay. Oh, Jesus! Oh, you bastard! Are you serious? Fuck! It's okay. That's what Cup of Life noodles are for. Like, goddamn. Like, I was about to heal my- get myself healed, too, and I fucking died. And there goes Bony. Yeah, I knew it. Whatever. Okay, I should have a... I th do I not? I have a secret herb, I guess it'll work. Okay, that's fine. It's cause, like, Lucas is gonna heal everyone anyway, so it doesn't matter. So like, you were saying like how Ness, if Ness was nicer to uh, Porky, this would all be different, but I don't think so. I think like Porky, like based on his like childhood, would have still been fucked up because his parents were like pretty screwed up. I think. Like he basically like was a a well off family until like his neighbors, which was Ness, had to pay for all their debts or whatever. I don't know. Oh god, okay. 
I don't know, there's, there's a lot of different things about it, like that, it's just... No, no. I'll do y'all everyone again. Okay. I just- I don't want everyone to die, I, I just- I need to heal them. I don't know if uh, Kumatora has a heal property, but we'll see. Okay. There you go, that takes care of all the, the porkies. <laughs> That's totally a lie, by the way. Oops, actually, let me see if Kumatora has any recoveries. No, she doesn't. She has only life up alpha and beta. Lucas is like the healer. Okay. The fright pot. Like every right now it's just like Yeah, every every like other character. Porky's the only real threat here. And I don't really have to worry about it too much. Okay. Shoot, I really want to- I do want to get rid of the, the fright bots. And like everything else. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll have Lucas attack. We'll have Kumatora use her... Uh... Freeze on Porky. And we'll just bash. But we'll use the Shield Snatcher. Just... Just so we can get rid of everything. Also, I, I'm gonna heal. Uh, where is it? I just- oh, I want to get rid of the, like, these Porky bots. Like, there's so much enemies on screen, it's like, it's hard. I also do like this music, I think, like, it's very nice and 8-bit. <sighs> oh no, what's the sauce? Okay. Okay, that takes care of that. That takes care of that, and I think... That should explode. Oh, you called for help. Ooh, I've never seen these guys before. I don't think I've seen the nice poser. I think I might have seen the minor robot like a while ago. Alright. I don't know if there's like gonna be more showing up, but we'll see. Okay. The nice poser struck a boring pose. Are you serious? Okay. The nice poser became tame. One after the other, even more Mecha Porkies joined the fight. All of a sudden, some guys rushed into the room! This is totally a reference. If you know what this is, like, it's a reference to Earthbound. I don't have to say anything. It was the DCMC! <laughs> ba Bakio? Basio? It jumped out in front. Chandagasa, dramatic climaxes are when unruly dudes like us get to shine. Oh my god. See, this Master Porky guy was trying to use us to brainwash everyone. I say it's high time we screw up his idiotic plans. Shizimi. Shimmy Zim. Nice. How come they didn't explode? Come on. Ha! We ain't gonna let this Porky freak have his way. <laughs> Cause like, there's a, uh, there's a point, like, uh, in Earthbound, where you're fighting, like, a little mechanical robot. And basically, like, you, you do so much damage to it, but it keeps healing itself and eating bologna sandwiches. To the point where, like, the Runaway 5 just entered the room. Level 59. I might actually get to level 60. We'll see. And then they save you. From the tiny little robot. It's a, it's a nice little nod to it. Come, Boney. Lucas, this is it. This is finally it. What? Flint, you just show up, like, out of the blue? Have we finally managed to corner the enemy, or have we all been dragged here? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't matter either way. Right, Duster? My hands are sweaty. Everyone is here! Everyone is here! <laughs> oh god, I really shouldn't be saying it during this part. 
Cough, wheeze. Cough, come a little closer so I can see your face better. Oh, is that what you look like? I was the one who brought you here. A traveler who has journeyed from past and future. I'm the most clever, most charming, most troublemaking boy ever. Master Porky Minch. Huh. We get to, we finally see the face of evil. Of childlike evil. It's not like he even has a goal or any well he does have a goal for like destruction, but like Okay, you weak hanger on oh whatever. I'm sorry I'm not Spankity 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 <laughs> Is that his mouth gaping open or is that a, a giant like goatee? I'm not really sure. Cough, cough. Wheeze, wheeze. You restored to blanking your own memories to create a new world where humanity's past failures would never be repeated. How stupid can you be? No matter how much you change the rules, no matter how much you refuse to admit defeat, in the end, the creatures known as people will always sign their own death warrants by acting out of stupidity and evil. And then, mankind will be gone for good. You could have been happy if you if you only did, well, as I did, as, whatever. I can't read, apparently. Why is it you struggle to, to cling to life with such puny minds? Pitiable bodies and feeble hearts. No matter. The curtain is about to fall on this pathetic little play of yours because soon the power will be mine. The world and everything it has in it has been my OC so far. And now I'll end it by acquiring the ultimate power. Okay. Phew. Though everything so far has been fun, I've given I'm I've given you many a con concession. I was bored out of my mind and, and wanted to play a more th more thrilling, you see. But now that we're face to face, I won't hold back or anything. My slave, my lifeless son, will pull the final needle for me. And in a moment, the moment he does, the dragon should be awake and do what I, do what I want. At which point, at which time, I assume you fools will turn into garbage or dust or something and finally disappear for good. I mean, it is kind of sad, but I'd be crushed under the weight of boredom if it were any other way. Please. Okay. Do you understand now? Do you understand the sadness Master Porky bears now that he's godlike? Jesus, Porky, you piece of shit. Oh! You love your little dramatic place, so this is. Couldn't you couldn't have come at a better time for you. It seems the seventh and final needle has just been located deep underground below here. I refuse to help you anymore. <laughs> A little bit too late. I assume you want to pull it right too, right, Lucas? Why not go and check it out then? I'm even being fair to tell you where it is. That will really make this game all the more fun. Porky's game. But I think I'll use my shortcut to give myself a head start, if you don't mind. How are you gonna get- whatever. Bring it on, if you can catch up to me, that is. Here, you can use this elevator all you want. Spankity, spankity, spankity. <laughs> I didn't want to physically cough <coughs> for, for his lines, but I guess I did anyways, so it doesn't matter. So, this is one of the reasons I don't like the stage in Smash. It's because it, it portrays New Pork City as a floating island. Even though, like, we take this elevator deep underground. To, like, the depths of the world. Also dropped frames, I didn't even notice. It was probably during battle. Like, and I even, like, saw an image of somebody doing it. Or drawing it. It was kind of hilarious. Like we're so, oh my god, every stage in Smash is floating. Well, I guess. But like, this is supposed to be like a city built on top of like a giant cliff mountainside. Or something. And now we're stuck down here. This is the point of no return, we can never go back up. This is the last area of the game and there's nothing else we can do. The door shut and the elevator is broken. Lucas. Lucas. There's something that has has me concerned. 
Could you let me go ahead first? Yes. Thanks, don't ask why. But if it seems like I'm gone for a long time, then just go ahead and keep going. Alright, Duster. I mean, fuck, I'm just forgetting names now. Flint! Okay. You're gonna go? Yes, I'm running downstairs. Jeez, like, what do you want from me, Kumatora? Come on. Yeah, you get, like, a weird sound effect for, like, man... This is the needle that Lokeri had to protect, like, way deep down under the depths of the world. This is, like, unbelievably, like... This is crazy. Like, how... How would you even protect it? It's already protected by itself. Nobody has to come here. I want to actually run down the stairs. Already out. Hey, look! It's the doorknob. This doorknob seems familiar. You accidentally dropped it. Well, rest in peace. Guess we don't get that doorknob. What a shame. Hey, there's an item over there. Very cool. I'm gonna save. Even though I probably shouldn't. Uh, I'm just gonna save. Who cares? Like I said, point of no return. Now I can't go back to New Pork City. Not that it really matters. The chapter's pretty easy anyways. Oh, hey! There's a sauna in a box. I didn't even realize that. That's very nice of the game. I don't know if this is, like, useful. Actually, I believe I can use this at any time. Wow. <laughs> I forgot this is, like, very purple and dark. Okay, so what are these enemies? A Phenomeno. Okay, I don't have to, like, do much to defeat them, but, like, I'd still... I just want to check my status real quick. Uh, ooh, if I could get Lucas to level 60, that'd be great, but I don't really feel like it's a feasible thing. Well, we'll see. I just... whatever. We're just, we're just gonna continue forward. Can I actually... I'm just gonna fight a couple of them. Okay, good. 4,000 experience? I think I'm like 1,500 away, so I'd have to fight like four of them. Also, I believe these enemies are supposed to be like a literal interpretation, a minerali of the like, the aliens you face in Earthbound. Oh god, what's it gonna do? It's kind of hilarious, I like it. Yeah, you also get, like, the weird sound effects here. Like, the the echoey uh, footsteps. Stop attacking, Lucas, come on. Okay, that's fine. Level 59. Like, it matters. Level 60 is, like, the recommended final level you should be in this game. Also, I, I saw, like, a theory a while ago that this is, like, the cave of the past from Earthbound. Like, the shape of this final area is generally the same. I hope there's a... I don't know, actually. I don't know where the, the final hot spring is. Oh, God. Okay. That's fine. I'll just heal everyone. I'll just heal everyone, it's fine. Oh god. <laughs> These are the last two enemies. I don't even know how, like... Beautiful. Okay, I gotta heal everyone or else I'm gonna die before I get to anywhere. Level 60, nice. Do I get anything? No. Uh, life up. Okay, that should be fine. I think. 
I don't think I really have to fight anymore, but we'll just I'll just run. Doesn't matter. Couldn't run. Oh, I'm gonna get like destroyed here, aren't I? Oh no, you're you're numb, bony. I'm sorry. Great. Okay, we'll just try and run again. Okay, there you go. I don't know if Bony. Yeah, Bony's fine. Oh no, never mind. Not really. But still, it's Flint's hat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the audio's crusty down here. Like it's really crust. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let me just healing. What? No. Does it? Did, I thought it was like numb or something. I guess it didn't work. Did I just waste like? PSI on everybody when I should have, like, not done that. That masked man. He's Klaus. Lucas, he's your brother. Klaus. I don't know why he's obeying this porky guy, but as a father, I finally found the son I'd lost. Lucas, be happy. I'm finally... I finally found your brother. Final needle. Lucas, make sure you pull it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me, just hurry up to the final needle. Okay, I believe there's an e Easter egg if you like keep pestering him. Not I'm fine. I'm not too hurt I'm not hurt too bad. Klaus didn't do this to me. I tried to fight this porky guy that's inside him. I, come on. Where is this like text box? It's I think it's like after seven times. That, like, he'll actually, uh... He'll give it to you? I just don't remember how many times. I really want to see it. Jeez, you're persistent. You're wondering about my hair, aren't you? That's right. I'm bald as a bean. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, God. I'll try and run away from these guys. Now that there's only, like, one of them... Okay. I don't need to level, really, on anymore. Ooh, what is this? A real bat. Ooh. I don't know if this is even better. Actually, I think it is better. I don't know if it has, like... Oops. Uh, I don't know if it has, a, like, a, a huge miss rate. But it doesn't matter anyways. I believe I've healed everyone. Because right now... I don't know if there's any place to heal. Nope, there's nothing down there. I don't know why that's there. There's nothing over here. Uh, let me see. What's my... Okay. That should be fine, I think. I think. Stop, stop right there. <laughs> oh, God. There's really no time for games anymore. I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you're after Nino, then don't worry. My adorable little monster is on its way as we speak. Huh? The monster's name is Klaus? Its name was Klaus? That almost sounds like a person's name. But now it's my robot. Not even a fragment of life remains inside it. It's Master Porky's slave robot. It doesn't whatever I say. It acts on my will alone. It's my double. It doesn't know anything about who you are. Oh god. I don't remember how this, like, fight even goes. Uh, we're just gonna do shield. Okay, and do I have any assist? Uh, we'll defense down. Okay, we'll also use a smoke bomb. And a shield smasher. Good! Quirky did something. Okay. I I don't know if that was Flash or not. But I really hope it wasn't. I, I, I've been, like, getting destroyed by Flash so many times. That it's unbelievable. Okay. 
I may have wasted all my magic cakes too, which sucks. Uh. Okay. Oof. No, not fire freeze. Oops. Actually, I do have a pencil rocket still, and oh, I do have magic gelatins and tarts. Okay, that's very good. Okay. What did Porky do? Nothing. Nothing like of value. Let me fill you in on something. No matter how much you attack me, I'll never die. Even if I somehow wound up, wind up being beaten, I'll never die. But you didn't know that, did you? So you're basically saying you're invincible. I've run out of items. Oh no. Oh! Shit! Okay. Yeah, I knew that was coming right back at me. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Doesn't matter. Freeze. Okay. Oh, fuck me. I'll have to use, like, items. What did Porky do? Doesn't matter. I'm healing everyone. Okay, we're good. I can't even do PK Love. Okay. No, 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 no. Alpha, or Gamma, whatever. Okay, Magic Gelatin, we'll use them on Lucas. 20, oh, that's not really good. What do you have to say now? I've gone through space, time and space so many times. That I haven't aged like a normal person. Who knows? I might be a thousand years old or ten thousand years old. Despite that, I'm still the same kid at heart. Isn't that funny? Isn't it? Jesus. That makes me feel sad. No, I'm laughing at you. Uh. Ooh, okay, good. Like, that's actually, like, really dark. Okay, well, I might be running out of my. Ah, oh, shame. Well, it doesn't matter, I'm healing anyways. It's like really dark it, it, that you think about it. Like, he's, he's just like so fucked up inherently. Uh, I don't think I have any. Oops, don't sniff. How do you keep doing, like, psychic shields? It's like... Okay, crying, that's fine. As long as it's not flash. I don't mind if it's, like... If it's... If the dragon wakes up, it might end up destroying anything. Everything and, and extinguishing all life. Even so. <laughs> I'll still be alive. Me and a dragon will be the only things left in the world alive. I'm more ready. I'm more than ready for that possibility. Jesus Christ. With my eternal life, I see the world through to the end. Everyone who won't like me is gone. I don't have the ability to attack, unfortunately. I do. Okay, uh. Do I have any more magic tarts? Hopefully, like, this does. Okay. Slightly. Yeah, that's fine. I'm only kicking anyways. What did Porky do? Okay. Uh, we'll just heal everyone. Uh, yeah, we'll kick. I don't know if he used a shield snatcher. Okay, or a shield. I don't remember. 
Yeah, I'm, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. We should be fine, I think. I can't do anything. I'm hoping to beat him soon. Because I'm really running out of, like, stuff. Okay. I had to save, like... Uh... I don't- I've run out of goods. I cannot, like, do anything. Like, I'm literally- this is it. This is, I'm out of magic tarts and whatever. Fuck! Okay, what do you have to say now? Thank you for playing along with me. To the end. Whatever. I'm actually a pretty nice guy, wouldn't you say? <laughs> uh. Okay, we'll just heal Komatora. Actually, it doesn't matter. So just PK freeze him. Hopefully, we're almost done. Get rid of his shield. Okay. What did Porky do? Ooh, fuck. He, he lagged my entire game. That's what he did. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna have to heal everyone. Hopefully, like, everyone can... I just got- I gotta heal everyone. There's no point- like, if I- I'm basically screwed if I have to, like, heal everyone manually. I'm screwed. Okay. Oh, oh god, okay. Oh, I think- I think I did it. I'll never die. I'll never die. Nor will I ever be beaten. But it appears my machine has run out of energy at the moment. Ahaha, <laughs> Lucas. You- you haven't won, just so you know. It's the- it's a capsule. I'm going to duck inside the absolutely safe capsule for the time being. When I'm inside, no attack will have any sort of effect on me whatsoever. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, yeah, right, there's no such thing as an absolutely... But, there is such a thing, and this is it. The absolutely safety capsule I tricked Dr. Andonuts and Mr. Sadness into making for me. Me, 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 all for me! Okay. Porky sealed himself inside the capsule. What a shame. We literally cannot do anything. We just gotta keep attacking. Absolutely safe capsule does absolutely nothing. Inside the- <laughs> Dude. Because Porky is sealed inside the capsule, the battle by definition is over. He's literally trapped in there, so when, like, can we just wait for him to come out? <laughs> That'd be the easier solution. Just heal up, wait for him to come out, and we're fine. Oh my. As evil as old Porky here is, I feel bad for him now. It's true that the absolutely safety capsule that Mr. Saturn and I developed together can protect one from every manner of danger. It is an absolutely safe capsule. But once you enter it, you can never exit it. That's such a, like, a, a bad oversight. Even what's outside this absolutely safe capsule is absolutely safe. I did tell Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet. But all he can do now is live forever, for eternity, inside the capsule, in absolutely safety. Who knows, in a way, he may have gotten exactly what he wanted. What do you think? 
Is it wrong for me to think this way? No. It's not wrong, you say? I wonder. I just want to get this feeling. Porky sticking his tongue out. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have to say? Want me to roll him around for a bit? No, no, it's okay. It's absolutely safe, after all. See? Rolly, rolly. Rolly, rolly. I imagine it's like gyro, so it's always like, right? So yeah, he's stuck in there forever. He can't die. So, like, that's like a weird ending to like, like a, a pivotal, such a despicable character. God, it's such a creepy ending too. There's nothing there. I don't have the energy to fight any more of these guys. So hopefully, oh yeah. Do you need something? Yes. Do you need to save? We'll save. Uh, I don't know if there's like the item guy, but I'm. I think he'll show up. Oh fuck! I'll have to read through that again. We're not done yet. Anyways, this is the the last little bit of the game. But, oh, this is the this is the final safe frog and the final hot spring of the game. So like, of course, it plays a very sad like mother th three love theme song. Okay, let me just uh, go back. Hopefully. I can. Because there's items I've been saving for the whole game. Uh, that I can finally collect now. I don't know how you got down here. Okay, so for Lucas, what we g we're going to need is... The mementos. I don't have... I... Uh, I'm already full of... Full up on stuff. Okay. I don't need the master stick. I'll keep the grilled chicken. And the double jerky. I do have a magic pudding, so that'll be useful. I'll keep the double burger too. The pizza too. Ugh, I don't need the Sagittarius bracelet. Uh, get rid of uh, that. Actually, do I have any other like stuff that I can like get rid of? I don't know. Okay, we'll get rid of the double jerky because I need like th those items like right now. Okay. Lucas, let's uh. Get the mementos if I can even like take them. It's such a shame that I literally lost all my my mementos, or like one of my mementos, which sucks. Oh god! <laughs> I didn't realize that was like all fucked up. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So uh, let's go ahead and go. So that Doctor Andonuts, that's not Jeff. That's actually Dr. Andonuts from uh, Earthbound, like Jeff's father. He was like dragged along with Porky, like unwillingly. I remember I remember reading it somewhere. I just wanted to point it out because I, I forgot and like now's a good better time than any. Okay, I got to jump on this guy. I can actually like just beat the crap out of him. So if, spoiler, I guess it's not really a spoiler. It's like it's like, it's commonplace. It doesn't really matter anyways. Alright, let's see. Actually... Okay, I don't want to re- Not right now, okay? Please, not right now. Gotta- I gotta heal up before I do that, and then save. Because that's like the only thing I can do. The final hot spring. So sad. I just want to see how much money we have after. Okay, there you go. Wait, did I not save? Why does it say Empire Pork Building? Okay, I'm I'm confused. Anyways, I'm the final frog in the game. It's been such a short time, though it seems too like long too. In any case, thank you for your continued patronage throughout it all. For me and all the other frogs, I say thank you. Hop, teardrop. So if that, if you have completed the battle memory, and also I imagine, I don't remember else, I just I think it's if you completed the battle memory, and you've gotten every front and back sprite of every single enemy in the game, uh, oh god, there's one more. He will tell you a secret hard mode when you're inputting your player name. It's just hard mode. It's not really useful either. I think he also tells you about the, the secret memo, which I'm not gonna look, look through because we're at the end of the game. Here we are. Here we are. The final needle. Deep in the depths of the world.
Lucas's Franklin badge reflected the masked man's lightning right back at him. You know this happened before. I hope we realize that, right? I don't know if I can even like attack him. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. The masked man attacks. Oh god, okay. Can I can I don't know if I can even do anything. I might put up a shield. Oh god. He's actually doing like quite a bit of damage. I can't even like bring my friends back to life, so there's no point. Uh Okay. Offense up. Defense up. Just to like slow down the healing or the damage process. Oh fuck. That's fine. We're fine. Uh, recovery. Live out Gamma. That should, like, protect me. I just, I just, you know, you, I can't attack him. Uh. Wait, the grow chicken. Because we have, we have these items, we may as well use them. It doesn't matter if I die, I have six, like, items that bring me back to life. I'm just gonna keep healing. We gotta keep attacking him, but, like, we can't... I, I didn't have a shield anyways. Oh, fuck you. Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. As long as he doesn't, like, keep doing PK love. Okay. I don't get a choice. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. Oh, he doesn't need a reason, it's his brother. Like, he, he hasn't seen him in years, and, and you, you think he wants to attack him? I don't blame the kid. Like, he's he's just going through, like, a like a real... Like... I don't know what you'd even call it. I don't, I don't know how you feel about that. Lucas. You know, I'm kind of dying here, by the way. <laughs> Uh, from some from somewhere you heard someone call your name. Okay, just gotta keep healing myself. That's why I'm upset that I ran out of magic puddings. Okay, just, you gotta keep attacking. There's nothing like you can do. Oops. Uh. We'll just do the grilled chicken. What is this? What do you have to say now? I don't know if I can even like attack yet. Uh, this is not good. I don't know if I get, even get the opportunity to attack like at all in this battle. Klaus. You know how I said my theory in chapter six for chapter six about those like the magicant theory about Hanawa's being like creating Magicant in this game it was Hanawa's voice it failed to reach the masked man Lucas ate the grilled chicken like I have another theory that like for some reason her psychic projection lasted for such a long time after she died the masked man attacks Okay, it's fine. I should be able to keep healing. I can't even do anything. Ooh! Just gonna keep attacking for as long as I can, and he keep healing. I might as well the last second. Klaus, stop this. You aren't Porky's robot. You're our son. Ooh, whoa. Oh, God, that's not good for my bitrate. <laughs> the masked man looked around. For some reason, Lucas couldn't attack. 
Ah, uh, I'm taking moral damage here. I don't know if I can even still attack. Okay. I don't. I don't get the opportunity. I guess for some reason Lucas couldn't attack. Oh, I'm dying. Uh, eat the king burger. Well, it's all shaky. That's what I'm worried about. It's it's fine. I don't really mind. Ooh. I should be eating more, but like I'm. <laughs> I'm running out of like the like the tiny little food that I do have. Oh my god. Lucas, look out! <gasps> Flint jumped in front of Lucas. The masked man's attack dealt major damage to Flint. Flint, no! Dad! Klaus, please remember. I've been looking for you for so long. The masked man tried PK Love Omega. Oh, you bastard. Flint suffered major damage. Flint couldn't stand up. I don't. Wow! I, after he attacks Dad, he, he like he he just has the. He just musters up the courage to fight now. Lucas, stop fighting. But I, like I don't have any other options. I don't have any other options. I I can only fight. And now his voice sadly echoed. The mass man attacks. Okay. Uh whatever. I should be fine. You know, I'm dying, but I should be fine. Uh, I do have a cup of life noodles. Can I use it on myself? Didn't- oh, wow, that was very much useless, by the way. Oh boy! I guess I should not have brought it. I just- I thought it would be, like, actually more useful. I thought I could heal myself completely, but I guess I can't. I'm just gonna attack with, like, my fists at this point. Okay, I should have, like, enough time. I think. He's running out of, like, psychic energy. If... Like, if you look at it, he's been doing, like, the weaker PK loves. Klaus. You and Lucas... are brothers. I know that. I know that, Hanawa. But I... There's nothing I can do. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. Just in time. I'm gonna use, uh... My, uh, where's my magic pudding? Just to get, like, some more help. Like... Whatever. Ooh. All right. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I I don't know. Jesus. I'm like I'm getting like destroyed over here. Can you hear me? You're close. Your name is Klaus. You're our son. She's just fight like throwing words into the void. Am I 
I still dying? Yes. Beautiful. Almost died. <laughs> Alright. This is like really a survival thing at this point. Oh god. I don't think I'm gonna survive that though. Oops. There goes Ionia's mementos. I don't know if that heals. Oh good. Oh god. Jesus Christ. This is why I said keep the mementos. Because like, like you really need the mementos. Please. Remember. Lucas. Klaus. Very heavy. I'm gonna eat the pizza. In the middle of battle. Oh. think we would be blessed with two children at once. I bet they'll accomplish things together that they couldn't alone. I'm sure they'll argue a lot, too. And I can see them helping each other out when they need it. And Lucas. I bet we'll mix them up a lot until they get bigger. I mean, one of them's a ginge and the other's blonde. Klaus. And Lucas, huh? I believe this is Flint and Hanawa talking to each other. How do you want them to be? How do you want them to grow up to be? To be kind, just like you. Oh, I was just gonna say. To be kind, just like you. Great. Then it's decided. Klaus. Lucas. Make us proud. Anyways, if you tried to heal up or like revive any of your teammates, he would use PK Thunder immediately and it would just like incapacitate them. Okay, let's first let's heal up. Uh, we'll shove a pizza down our throat later. I don't know if I can even. Oh wow, none of his like stuff is doing anything. The masked man gazed at Lucas. Lucas shut his eyes tightly. The Masked Man attacks. It's not doing really any much damage anymore. The Masked Man's covered his ears. Aww. The Masked Man attacks. The Masked Man shut his eyes. They just... They can't bear to see or hear themselves attacking each other. I guess some things never change, huh? 
It's it's so bittersweet. How they're 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 trying. Lucas wanted to cry. It's like they're slap fighting each other at this point. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like they're 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 flailing their arms like uh like children. It's I don't know. It's sad. It's not sad in like a pathetic kind of way. It's sad in like a sad kind of way. Klaus. 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 Come to your mother. Oh. You must be so exhausted. Come here, Klaus. And that's the final battle. Basically. The masked man looked around as if searching for something. Masked man removed his mask. It's close. <gasps> he looked. His face looked just like Lucas's. It was close. I mean, I just said that, but regardless, anyways. Klaus fired an intense bolt of lightning. Lucas's Franklin badge reflected the lightning back. Klaus took mortal damage. Oh no. Klaus staggered toward, toward Lucas. Klaus embraced Lucas. Lucas remembered Klaus's smell. I mean, I, I guess it's it's kind of weird, but like, sure. Please tell me- okay, I thought it crashed. I'm sorry it turned out like this. I'm really happy you could be with me just before the end. Thanks. Dad, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm going to where Mom is now. Aw. Lucas, I hope we meet again someday. Bye. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Uh, of course, there's a video on that. Uh, like, the, the worst time to say that. You could have waited until the credits? I'm sorry. Klaus gave his final breath. <laughs> Lucas. Thank you. Klaus was just hasty, that's all. You'll forgive your hasty brother, won't you? Alright, this is it. The time has come for you to pull the dragon's last needle. Are you ready? Yes. Both Hanawa and Klaus have entrusted fate to you. Believe in yourself and pull that final needle. Nothing needs to be sealed away anymore. Let's make the dark dragon sealed underground our new friend. Pass your heart onto that dragon. Pray from the bottom of your heart as to protect all life in this world. Me and everyone else, we, b we all believe in you. So now you need to believe in yourself. Now go, the dragon is waiting to wake up.
your life and the life of all those who believe in you, will you pull it will you put it all on the line and pull the final needle? Yes. I believe if you even if you say no, he just pulls it regardless. So yes, there you go. Here we here we go. The final needle has been pulled. We have passed our our heart onto the dragon. This is probably my favorite cutscene in the entire game that's right about to happen. I know I should like I wish I could have played this blind, but that's eight years too late. <laughs> Nine, actually nine. Oh shit! Well, I did really play this in 2010. Oh my god! I'm just gonna- I'm just not gonna say anything during this cutscene. I'll say stuff when I feel like it's necessary. It's like the whole world is tearing itself apart. And everything is coming to an abrupt ending. Uh, I, th I thought the clay factory was out of business. And it shut down? I specifically remember that. Oh, that's Tasmili. That's like right by the, the train station. Like, everything is just, just getting like broken and destroyed. And there goes the only piece of history of this island. Goodbye, Oso Castle. I guess they're getting away. You know? Nope. Nope. They're basically screwed. Just like everyone else on this island. Well, they did say the dragon was as big as the islands themselves. So, like, it's literally gonna tear this whole place apart just to rebuild it. If even that happens. And that's it. That's the only... Like, that's it. This is it. That's the only, like, image we see of this dark dragon that's been, like, alluded to the entire game. I don't know, it's like, it's a happy, it's a bittersweet ending. It's a happy, sad thing. End? I mean, you could choose to believe that's the end, but it's not really the end, because you get to walk. Ow! Watch where you're going, watch where you're walking. Can't you see where you're going? It doesn't matter. It's okay. This isn't a dream. Also, uh, my directions are reversed, so there's a thing. I'm just gonna keep walking around. It's a miracle. A real miracle. It seems everyone's alright. I don't know whose voices are who, unfortunately. I thought everything was about to be destroyed, but everyone is alive. The only way I to describe it is a miracle. Did the dragon's revival really give power to all life? That nearly scared me to death, but I guess... That's what they mean. A crisis gone is easily forgotten. In any case, everyone is just peachy keen now. That was scary. That was the very definition of scary. Uh, I believe it's a certain number of steps. I don't actually remember. 
So are you me? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not saying my own name. That's stupid. You're okay. That was that's great. What a relief. Hey everybody. He's over here and he's doing just fine. Lucas wanted to meet you. Aw. Lucas. I have an amiibo of you. How do you feel about that? Thank you so much for everything. And for helping Lucas and the others. The world might have been completely destroyed had it not been for you. It's, uh, thanks, I guess. To be honest, I was so scared the moment Lucas pulled the last needle. I did have faith, though. I had faith. But I felt the kind of fear so bad that I almost expected my entire body to blow apart. But as you can see, everybody is just fine. We've regained something incredibly immense. Do you know why, but I can't stop my tears from coming out. What is this feeling? What could it be? This is the first time I've ever seen you cry, Kumatora. You're really cute now that I look. <laughs> Adorable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop stepping on me. Even mole crickets are living creatures too, you know. Poke, poke. Who poked you in the back? Guess who? Incidentally, I'm Wes. And it wasn't me. I'm Alec. I didn't, I didn't, I don't poke you in the back. He's playing innocent, but Wes was the one who did it. Well, we're both alive and well. Isn't that right? I, I didn't read the last bit. Oops. Oxygen. Have we met somewhere before? My name is Rope Snake. I was just considering living a quiet life as a snake rope. If you happen to find that kind of sad, then please talk to me and say thanks. And your jaw saved us all. No ordinary snake could have done that. Not nor an ordinary rope. This conversation is turning out long, just like the snake I am. But I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Was it? I'll be certain to etch that name into my mind. Have a good new year. Have a good new year. Off. It's uh, Salsa and Samba. Hop. Now that my saving job is over, I think I'll settle down and take care of the tadpoles. Thank you for everything. No, wait. It's the other way around. Trip down. Trip down. Hit nose on ground. I'm doing well too. Hey Bones, thanks. Come on. Is there like a number of steps? Do I have to like touch every tile or something? I know if you just hold left. You touch, You found something rolling around. The rolling wo thing wobbles with glee. The rolling thing wobbles with glee? What is that? Oh, there's gonna be something inside, but you can't really tell what it is. Oh. Your foot hit something swallowing around. It's a doorknob! Got the doorknob! Wow. Took to the end of the game. Thanks. I feel so utterly incredible thankful for your, for everything you've done. Thanks for everything. I wish we could always be together. We just met and now we have to say goodbye. All the people of this world are saved. Thanks to you. Thank you. That was fun. Let's meet again sometime. We can meet as many times as we want. Bye. What's the, what's the world like there? It looks like things will work out here. What about your world? Will it be alright? I, I don't know about that. Hey other world. Be good. <laughs> Thanks. Goodbye. 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 Thanks so much. Come back sometime. Thanks for everything. We'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, and Smash Brothers, assuming that this is Lucas that I'm talking to right now. <laughs> Don't forget us. Of course not. Goodbye. Thanks. We shared lots of fun, didn't we? I'm just gonna walk up and down. Uh, thanks. Okay, there you go. You know, looking at the word end, it's basically lost all value and meaning. And that's, that's Earthbound. Alright, Earthbound. Mother 3, what am I saying? I'm losing my mind. Anyways, the ending is very up to interpretation. It's very open-ended, but I think everyone is fine. Uh, Porky is obviously trapped in the absolutely safety capsule for the rest of time and eternity. Uh, I don't think the, like... I think the people have gotten over being brainwashed and realize that the like the pork army is like a facade. But yeah, you know, obviously the cast, we get to meet everybody and every character. 
But I, like, honestly, this is one of my favorite RPGs, like, of all time. I, I'd, I'd have to say that. I don't know. I have a lot of favorite games, but that's great about being an adult. You get to, you don't have to have just one favorite, you can have many. <laughs> I really do like the Earthbound series. I will be playing all three games at some point, but I just wanted to start with this one specifically because, uh, it was the 13th year anniversary, and, you know, I was a little bit late on that, but who cares? Still, regardless, I implore anybody to play this because it is truly a fantastic experience. Sure, I had some like hardships and difficulties throughout the journey, such as like dying at bosses a couple times and being unable to get certain rare items, but regardless, I did not really bother with them or need them. Like seeing as the final boss fights, like you don't really need anything because you're not fighting anything. But still, it's it's a great game, and unfortunately, uh, Mr. Shigesato Itoi, uh, has said he's no longer making any more Mother games. There was a Mother 4 planned, I believe, at some point by, like, a f by a bunch of fans, but, like, that was planned for Winter 2014, and that never happened. And then they had to, like, change their name because, like, Nintendo was cease and desisting everything. And whatever. I don't remember, okay. I remember reading somewhere in an interview that I, like, I Shigesato Aitoi made these games as a way to connect with his daughter. And now that his daughter's like old, older and an, like an adult, he basically doesn't need to go see her because of, okay. Let me, let me fill in the, the whole story. Mr. Shigesato Itoi and his wife had a child. They are divorced, I think. And uh, he didn't get to see his daughter very much, so he made these games as like a feeling of having to visit his daughter. But now that his daughter is older and he can see her anytime and they can see each other anytime, there's really no point in, in making like any more stories that could connect them. And I think it's cute, honestly. Again, I, I I don't know for sure. I could be paraphrasing, but that's what I read. It's been a while, but who cares? <laughs> but yeah, let's uh let's just enjoy the, the the cast and crew. Very, very nice, honestly. I feel like I'm just saying words just to fill space because I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> oh, it's the Bucket Bros. I, I forgot about them. That's the ultimate Chimera. I, I'm, I wasn't even really paying attention to the, uh... What do you call it? The, the, the cast? Because there is one character's name that's never mentioned. But it's only... Well, it's never mentioned in game. It's only mentioned in cast. The Mr. Saturns, the coolest, the coolest characters in video game history. I don't even know if they showed up yet, I wasn't really paying attention. But it's okay, I don't mind. And there's all the, like, really non-plot essential NPCs, other than, like, Mr. T. Right there. I think the last time I played this was when I got my 3DS. I, like, I shoved, like, I had, like, an R4, uh, that could play Game Boy Advance games, so I just downloaded, like, a couple. And this is, like, one of them that I always play. Uh, that was, like, in 2016, 2017. It's the stray dog and a bird. Man, I... It's been three years since I had my 3DS, and now they're, like, they're no longer making games for it. Like, they basically, like, Nintendo, like, hu like hushly said they're done with the 3DS. Which is sad, because, like, there's no more first-party lineups. There they are, they're the Mad Gypsies. Oh, yeah! I forgot! Locria. Locria vanished as soon as we pulled the final needle. Because there was no reason for her to protect it anymore, or him. 
So, like, facade being like drowning in that sewage water is finally gone. And to save frogs. Ugh. But I, I do think that facade was like angry at the humans for just showing up out of the blue and expecting like them to have this new world. So when Porky showed up and arrived, like he saw that weakness and exploited it. That's my guess as to like why Locria like was able to do all the things he could do. The oxygen supplies. There's a centaur for no reason. There's the masked man. He took off his uh <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this because like like at the e in the end like Klaus died and Lucas fine like and Flint finally found Klaus but like their family is still fragmented but I think like they're going to stick together <sighs> Even it reminds me now like all those graves like, uh, you, you know how, like, Hanawa's grave say, said, may she rest peacefully here for all of eternity or something? I don't think she's resting for all of it, like, eternity or peacefully after that dark dragon showed up. <laughs> well, gee, that's dark, but, like, it's true. And now it's the real credits. I don't know, I don't have any other words to say about this game. I just think it's fantastic. Like, it's such a shame that it never came to North America or any other region. And I'm super glad and super thankful that the fan translation team poured their hearts out into this game. Because, my god, they I think they did, like, a better job than, like, this is perhaps the best fan translation for any video game ever out there. And this like fixes so many problems I had with Earthbound. Like even though there's like a little bit of uh, issues. I'm just talking right now, I'd like to talk over credits. Poor, uh, Salsa. I'm sure he's fine. I don't know. They even, like, the fan, trans fan, tra the fan translation team even said, like, uh, like, they could give, they tried to offer this to Nintendo for free. Or Nintendo of America for free. When, uh, when they were finished with it, but they, I don't think they responded or accepted it. And at that point, like, they never got a cease and desist, and, like, the high, like, the highest ups in Nintendo of America even knew, like, the translation was going on. But they didn't stop it. So, you know, it's a double-edged sword. I thank you, Nintendo, for giving, for making the fans make this translation. And thank you, fans, for making this translation. And having Nintendo not interfere, or whatever. It's all very confusing in the end. But that's what life is. It's like a confusing mess, you just hope you can figure out some direction in it. And you, you move on to the next problem. I don't want to fast forward through this. I'm just I'm just going to wait and sit. This is not that long. Oh. 
Oh, this music makes me want to, like, take a nice little, little nap, you know? Rest in peace, Satoru Iwata. And there it is, the player, me. It's been such a while that I, like, input my own name that I forgot that I did it. Even though I'm, like, I'm slightly embarrassed of saying my own name, I still think it's a good username. Copyright game and scenario reserved by Shadik Sadoi Toy slash Nintendo. Something else, I didn't read the rest. Oh, well, unfortunate. How unfortunate. Ooh. And there we go. Mother 3. End. Such a nice somber song to end on. It's called, uh, Memory of Life. You can look it up by searching the OST. There's been quite a few debates on what the theme of this game is. Is it, like, technology or versus, like, nature? But I don't think it's really like any of that. I think it's more just... I'm just gonna talk for a little bit. I, I'm gonna let this, like, roll out and then I'll stop the stream. Because ba it's basically over. Anyways, uh... I think it's more be responsible for your actions because everything has consequences. Everything. And now that the Mother 3 logo is all like naturefied, I think it's a very fitting end. And it's sad that it, the series is over, but I'm glad it's over instead of being like cancelled or, or like just canned or shelved. I'd rather have like a nice conclusive ending than like than people wa waiting for more like F-Zero and other video games. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do enjoy this game. Uh, thank you for commenting and watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back another day with a different video game and we'll have fun with that. This is a little bit it got a little bit sad and dark in the end, and if you're not into that kind of thing, I do apologize. I try to play more light-hearted games. But overall, uh, you know, it, it's a good ending, you know? I think it's good. I think it's great. <laughs>